I can hear you. Just okay. There we go. Sorry about that. No worries. Okay, I'll, you're I might back. have been just being still too. Somehow I might get a little. No, still. It, it was it was the I zoom. Have low blood pressure, zoom actually. minimized. Okay, let's forget about that. That's and awesome. the crime rates have gone down. Interesting. Well, sto people yeah. stoned on pot. Like, Dude, it's hard to pick somebody's break, pocket. Can yeah. you go break into a building? Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're they, just not going to get it together. To you might do that. knock for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. you might knock at the front door. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you're going to break in. And though. you're not going to. Yeah, you might. That's right. You might knock. You're not going to go out. What are you going to go out the alley and have a fight? No, you're not. A real slow fight. <laughs> that's right. Well, while you're watching your hands, like yeah, so that's... it's like chess with your hands, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you know, you have a sense in your mind of what you'd be like if you let yourself go. Oh, well, I'd be sick, man. I'd be under a bridge or something. I'd probably be behind like a, I don't know, living behind a Tim Hortons or some, you know, some type of place. I'm trying to make it local to you, but like some, yeah, I'd be living. You know, I'd just be doing drugs or just probably listening to Aerosmith. I'd be outdoors. I bet no real home. I'd have no family. Yeah, so for you. So for you, it's a vision of homelessness and, and substance abuse. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like leave your house alone for a year. Yeah. See what happens to yeah. it. It's like, yeah. oh, it's way better. Yeah. It's like, no, it's not. It has black mold everywhere, yeah. right? And a vandal has moved in. There's graffiti everywhere. And yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. squirrels drawing a pentagram. Mm. Like things have gotten <laughs> out of hand. Exactly. That's definitely not good. Like I've been to Africa before and I remember looking in the eyes of a man one time and it felt like he was like, no joke, doctor. It felt like he was like three million years old like it just hmm. like his eyes it just felt like man you could just dive into his eyes and never hit the bottom man like i'm 38 you know i mean i'm kind of a late bloomer so i'm kind of maybe like 32 really but i'm also like an old soul so i guess i'm actually like i'm back at 38 um but it's a quick trip <laughs> yeah, sorry, it was. Yeah. i'll kind of ask myself well, what am i feeling right now like am i feeling sad am i feeling disappointed am i feeling dejected am i feeling tired you know, to, I just start to really kind of like, it's almost like using a metal detector over my feelings when I ask questions. And then sometimes one of the words will kind of spark up and be like, okay, I'm feeling uh, dejected. Um, and then why? What? Who's making you feel dejected? What's making you feel dejected? It's almost like I'm like Sherlock Holmes, but I'm the crime scene. Yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. That's a, that's perfect. Like I remember my first kiss, like when I was moving towards her face, I just remember feeling like, like the ships were crossing the Troy. And I remember feeling like, you know, like Sparta and just like, you know, like Denzel Washington was there. Like everything was going on inside of my body. You know, it was like every, the whole, like, you know, the, like everything was there, you know, the Grand Canyon was there and everything was there in this moment, like watching me just be in a part, like it was in my skin, waiting to see if I could land this kiss with this girl. And I mean, I think I, you did such a great job of describing how significant that first kiss was, you know? Oh yeah. You, Even Tarzan was there now that I think limb. about it. What's that? Even Tarzan was there now that I think about it. You know? <laughs> right. Do you remember your first kiss, Dr. Peterson? Was it in Canada? Yes, it was certainly in Canada. My man. I remember the first time I held hands with my, the woman who became my wife. Wow. Were, were you guys outdoors or indoors? It was high school graduation. Do you remember if you kind of, did you reach for your wife's hand or did she make that first initial move? Do you remember or no? So, yes, I do remember actually. She took my hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool, man. And if we want to see changes and if we want to experience something different than the circle or the even the the figure eight that we're in or even the trapezoid that we're in that we have to <laughs> that we gotta uh we gotta make an effort you know we really gotta it was make it good an talking to you like it was last time appreciate it very much you too jordan thank you so much for your time and uh congrats on the new book and i look forward to finishing it and um you look great